Hey everyone, in this Smart BI video, let us explain why you should use UTMs in your digital advertising campaign. If you're watching this video, chances are that digital advertising campaigns are essential to the success of your business. It's a powerful way to connect with your target audience. However, to fully leverage your efforts and investments, you need to track what works and what doesn't. You need to know which investments are paying off. And to achieve this, UTMs are essential. But what are UTMs? Okay, UTM or Orkin Tracking Module is a URL tracking system used in online marketing campaigns. It allows you to identify the source of traffic coming from your campaigns. If we want to get a bit technical, UTM generally considers three major tracking parameters. The first one, UTM medium. This identifies the type of marketing channel used, social, organic, paid, newsletter, affiliate, and so on. You can also be more specific, like indicating pay-per-click or display instead of just paid. Parameter number two, UTM source. This is the referring site used by the identified channel. For example, Google, Facebook, or a partner website. If you're using Google Ad, for instance, you may use pay-per-click as the medium and Google as the source. Parameter three, UTM campaign. This is the name you've given to your specific marketing campaign. For example, Black Friday campaign. While many marketing experts limit themselves to identifying the source, medium, and campaign, it's possible to go further. There are three other, less frequently used parameters you might consider. UTM content. If you have multiple links in the same campaign, like two links in the same email, you can use this parameter to tell them apart. For example, if the same link is included in an image or in a text. UTM term. This parameter is used if you want to track which keyword or search term triggered the display of an ad in a paid search campaign. UTM ID. Often when you run online advertising campaign for let's say Black Friday, you'll be creating different formats of ads. This parameter is used for those of you who wants to identify which specific ad campaign a visit originated from. Okay, but how do you set up UTMs? Well, it's quite simple. When you run a campaign, you'll direct it to a URL of your choice. It could be your site, a landing page, or something else. But to identify where the click is coming from, you'll add these UTM parameters to your link. Example. Here's what a UTM link for a paid Facebook ad for your Black Friday campaign pointing to your website homepage might look like. You see your URL, followed by the source, medium, and campaign parameter. To make your life easier and prevent errors, I recommend you use Google's free UTM builder to create your track URLs. I'll include a link to it in the description of this video. Also, two quick important tips regarding your UTMs. One. Consistency is the key. This applies to how you label your sources, mediums, campaigns, as well as the use of capitalization and lowercase. This practice helps prevent the creation of duplicates or inconsistency in analysis platforms such as Google Analytics. Two, use UTMs everywhere. On all your online ads, on links you place on partner sites, on your QR codes, in your emails. In short, Every time you share a link, add a UTM, all right? Now that you have a better understanding of what UTM are and how to create them, here are three important aspects where they'll have significant impact. One, tracking traffic source. UTM allows you to see where your visitors are coming from, social networks, search engines, or specific ads. This is crucial information to see which channel are working best. But Paul, doesn't Google Analytics show me all that? Actually, yes and no. Google will do its best to identify the source of your visit. It's probably the easiest element for him to identify. But Google can make mistakes. So it's always better to include it in your URL. Two, analyzing the performance of your advertising channels. When you advertise online, it's also important to know which channel generates the most traffic. With specific UTM for each channel, it allows you to measure their effectiveness. But if you have the sources, isn't that enough? Oh no. For example, 
On Google or Facebook, there are many types of ad. In the UTM medium, don't forget you can be specific. Is it a video banner, a carousel, pay-per-click, a display banner, and so on. And earlier, I mentioned that UTM allow you to track the traffic generated by each campaign, but it will also allow you to be even more precise and know which channel generates the most conversions and revenue. It's ideal for allocating marketing budget wisely. 3. Personalizing the user experience Tools or programming techniques allow you to dynamically adapt the content of a page based on traffic source. In essence, Based on a UTM, you can display different content on your site or landing page. For example, display a specific content to a visitor based on a Black Friday ad that they saw on Facebook. Doing this will allow you to offer them content that's super tailored to their interests. It's a technique that boosts conversions and customer retention. And now for the grand finale, here's an extremely powerful trick that will even allow you to track your offline conversions. If you do offline advertising like billboards or radio ad, you could also use UTM to track them. Really? How? The idea is to use different domain names for each of your ads and then redirect them to your regular address but with a UTM. For example, if you create a billboard announcing the opening of a store in Laval, you could register my brand underscore now in Laval.ca. That's a URL people can easily remember. When this address is typed, it is redirected to a regular site with a specific UTM that tracks the billboard as reference. It's like magic! In conclusion, it's essential to integrate UTMs into your campaigns to personalize them and ensure budget is well spent. And at Smart BI, we've set up dashboards that allow you to analyze all this data based on your different UTMs. We can discuss that if you're interested. And if you liked that video, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the Smart BI channel. See you soon.